Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus, I thank you so much for the gift of grace. Papa, I thank you so much for the gift of grace. Holy Spirit, thank you for dwelling in her. I ask that you would come right now and flood her from the top of her head to the bottom of her toes, that she would be so filled with you, and that spirit of peace you would calm any anxiety, that, Lord, um, you've given her words to speak. And I ask, God, that you would prepare our hearts to receive whatever it is that you want to speak to us through grace. Mama Mary, wrap her in your mantle of protection and peace. And we pray all of these things, Jesus, in your most holy name. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you. Hi, guys. I'm Grace, and I'm a senior <laughs> Hi. at Hilliard Derby High School. And kind of my story starts um, with mass. And honestly, as a kid, I found it like really boring. And I didn't have a love for it, and it wasn't something that I wanted to do. And so I kept going to Sunday mass until a couple months after confirmation. And then I kind of took all of my faith and put it like in a trash bag and then threw it to the side and was like, I don't need you, I don't want you, can't be a part of my life anymore. And so, then junior year rolls around and I kind of was just broken and I was so unsatisfied from, from the world. And I remember my mom coming into my room and she was like, Grace, I think you should go to the Vine tonight. And I was like, mm -mm, not my thing. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, Grace, go, like, just try it out. And I was like, no, like, I, I can't go. And so then later that night, we end up pulling into the parking lot <laughs> and I walk in and I remember there was a testimony, a talk, worship and adoration and I didn't know what worship was and I didn't know what adoration was and I then learned that worship was singing to praise God and adoration was Jesus coming in through the Eucharist and sitting before us and pretty much I left that night feeling weird I guess is the good word to say and I remember getting in the car and I just was sobbing and I was so upset and I didn't know why. And so I decided to come back next Sunday and I came back probably five or six more Sundays and I remember looking over at some of the teenagers and they were on their knees giving everything they had to Jesus. And that's kind of when my journey to find Jesus began again and I started to go back to Mass, and I started to pray again, and that was probably the hardest part for me, because praying was difficult, and going to Mass I still found boring. And then over time, once I got into the routine of going to Mass and praying, it became a lot easier, and it became fun, and with fun came joy, so much joy. <laughs> And after that, I started to fall in love with adoration because whatever I was going through, no matter how broken I was, I could just go sit there and I know that he was in front of me. And so I guess I have a challenge for you guys. Um, so the next time you go to Mass, I encourage you to take a journal with you and write down one thing that was really boring at Mass and then <laughs> write down one thing that you kind of enjoyed and then go into prayer and you can just say Jesus I ask that you highlight the moments that were boring in mass today and you pour out joy and fruit upon those areas and just keep praying that because he'll show up so 